Hi guys, welcome to Train Some TV. In today's video, we're in the northwest of England on the Northern Land route. We're going to be having a run on the Gold Star Trains Tampa. Uh, it's the Tampa pack that came out a couple of months ago. Uh, we did do a video um, when it was quite recently released, um, doing a bit of a first look with that. And we did that on Cumbrian Coast, to be quite fair. Uh, it wasn't a long run, we just did a, a little uh, made up scenario um, on the uh, route just to have a quick look and see what was what. Um, I picked out all sorts of bits and pieces, uh, all my bits of finds, um, and, and fair play to uh, to Duncan. He has definitely uh, updated some things and fixed bits that I found. Um, I mean, straight away I, I can tell that the textures look a lot better on the uh, on the paintwork. It is not shiny or metallic like it was. Um, it, it looks a lot better, um, definitely. Um, there is still a little few bits and pieces that I have spotted that do look a little bit off, like some of the uh, like the black textures around here, very very shiny and uh, coupling may mainly. There's a couple of LOD issues there you can still see, but it is definitely better. There's still a few things I, I will say, but this isn't really what we're going to be doing today. Is looking at all them bits and pieces. We're going to do a drive. So basically, um, not many scenarios have been done for the Tampa. You, you see it featured in, in scenarios, but mainly as uh, static AI in, in yards uh, for the most part, or bits and pieces moving around. But you don't really see or have seen anything made for it in the driving side of things. So it's quite nice to come and do one. And also, it's been made for uh, Northern Lines. I think that's new. I don't. I don't recall that um, that over there. Maybe it was. I can't quite remember. But yeah, excellent. No. Right. Anyway, let's get in the cab. Get ourselves set up. So it has been a while since I've driven this. So I've got the manual, the trusty manual. Um, now I'm missing the Pendolino to this scenario, like basically because I think it used the Brad Harding skin. I haven't got them installed, and uh, I don't um, need them as, as such because I've got the uh, Major Wells packed. So we'll just give them a swerve. We don't need them. So let's get it going. So we need to release the brakes fully. We need to get our. There we go. Gears in. I think we're forward. We are forward. Right, let's go. Fingers crossed. No, oh, it would help if I turned the DRF, wouldn't it? Where is it? There somewhere. If I remember correctly, it was a weird. There was a weird button, which I couldn't find it last time. Yeah, right. There it is. It's a <laughs> That's why I can't find it. It's so hard to see. It's there. There's a few LOD issues still going on with some of these lights and stuff on here, which I will say. I think it's it moves. Hey, <laughs> it's moving. Happy days. I'm driving with keyboard today as well because uh, I'm not really sure if this actually uh, works with the PVC. We've been a gear locomotive. Alright, so we're going via the Romel platforms first of all. We're going to be go to Kirkham. We're doing some tamping in Kirkham. Um, so we've not got a long drive. It's about a 10 minute drive, I would say. The scenario itself is about uh, 40 minutes in altogether. So set we cap, head to Kirkham Wesham where you'll uh, receive further instruction. Please be aware that you will be following a ballast train to expect some adverse signals en route. I feel like the track joint sounds have changed. Oh, yeah, ballast train's just leaving over there. Look, there's a 37 on that. That's nice. Reduce your speed to 15 miles per hour. As we uh, go through the upcoming yard. Rightio. Give the man a, a toot toot. 
So Gold Star Trains are currently also working on a MPV, which is um, basically like a unit version of the RHTT. Um, comes with like two cars and a lot of jets and tanks and the stuff and all the back of it. You, you, you'll see the progress that's been uh, been shared and posted. Looking very good. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Look forward to how it shapes up and uh, comes on the release. A couple of things. Mainly in, in my thing at the minute is the, is the cab. I've, I've seen a picture of the cab. It's, I mean, it looks very, very basic. Fingers crossed it'll uh, develop and become a lot more detailed on release. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Again, it's not one of the things I'm going to drive massively, but it's still another um, train that will be very, very useful for uh, AI and also uh, filling up the yards and stuff. Uh, where they loiter around. So, yeah, looking very much forward to that when the time comes. So, this is that uh, second drive on the Tampa. I've just not got a chance to get round to doing it. And again, this is because there's not been any scenarios, there's not been any need for me to drive it. I love them uh, drivers. Really, really good characters to be fair. They're really, really decent quality. If anything, I'd probably say they're probably some of the best quality drivers we've got in TS. I think we may be stopping at this signal one after. Because as I say, we are following, but he may have cleared it to be quite fair by now, so. If we keep at the same sort of speed we go, we might be alright. Passing St. Wilberg's Church there on the uh, right hand side. The line to the north as well has just gone off of, uh, off the west coast. So we're now on the foul line. Uh, we do have the road, so we are alright. Screenshot there, that was quite cool, doesn't it? Go with that. Could be the uh, the picture of the video. Just trying not to. Uh... All right, put the speed. Then we've got a yellow as well. I'm not sure if we're going to see any trains or such on this side. Uh, I think we are, actually. There's some trains around. There must still be some services. Even though we're doing tamping, so God knows where we're tamping. Nah, let's rip it open. And take the power back off, because again, we didn't have a single yellow, so we might will be stopping. And again, can't see the signal yet. Is it literally around this corner? So I'm just going to crawl up to it. Ah, we're good. We're running yellow. We're all right. Let's see the power on. So in the description, I'll put the link for the scenario and the pack, of course. I'll even put the link for the route as well. So the route's available from our on-track simulations website. Uh, the train itself is available for Marlon Thompson's in, as is with the scenario as well. The pack does come, I think, with three scenarios. Now, you do get discounts as well if you're a sub to uh, the ATS website. 
which uh, does knock it off a little bit in price. Yeah, one of your logo, we're all right. I think we're in the top. Uh, yeah, we are in the top gear there. Gets going to be quite fair. It, it does shift once you open it up. I keep looking at the speed dial and I'm thinking it's wrong that boy. So I think the, the dial's actually setting kilometres, <laughs> not mile an hour. Now we do have a single there, so the next one will be a red, as far as we know, anyway. A single yellow at least. Can we come off this curve? Yeah, we do. I can see it. Good, good. Let's go. So Kirkham's literally five mile away. Kirkham's sort of like the halfway point, if you will, and it's also where the Blackpool South Line turns off. Um, if you look on the map there, literally more bang in the middle. Now I don't always do the dark side of scenarios in terms of night time, it's uh, not normally uh, what we do, obviously it's hard to see things, it's more of a case of what to do with this one because it's just a bit interesting in terms of actually being able to do some tamping, um, and it's not something we do very often uh, in streams or obviously for videos, so give you guys something to see as well. And it's also a change and a, a, a bit of a breather from the Class 700 to obviously we've spammed you with two videos in a row for that. Which again, massive thanks to everyone that's watched them and I hope you've enjoyed them and uh, I hope it's given you uh, some enjoyment uh, in terms of the first look and at least um, having a patch out there now that makes it bearable and drivable. But again, thank you very much for your time and the views, it's, uh, it's hugely appreciated. Chasing the old uh, yellows up there. I don't think this thing has instrument lights. I'm just going to double check that. Right? All the lights on the outside. I don't think it does. Oh, look at the green. Happy days. Just, I did say some lights from last time. Where was that? Hmm. No idea. It literally just said instrument lights where I hovered, hovered over them. Not a clue. That's a Solvik uh, BNFL there. Box on the right, and also come through to the station. Actually, that might be a better, <laughs> a better screenshot. I nearly said something I shouldn't have done, and they said a naughty word. Totally forgetting on YouTube, not on the stream. Have another a restart of video. Chuck drink fresh. To be quite fair, actually, with the weather, it's not actually all bad because it's it's quite bright in the sky still, so it does uh, it makes for quite a nice scene.
So I've got my manual open still because when we come to do the tamping, I'm going to have to uh, refer back to this. It's been so long since I've had a go of it. I can't quite remember the key combines and the, the procedures required to uh, get it going. Actually, no, we won't actually. I won't have thought because hopefully the uh, the 37 will be on a different track, not the same as us. We will be going via platform one though. Yeah, I'm pretty certain that the track joint sounds have uh, been updated. I don't recall them sounding like that. They sound quite nice. Let's have a listen. We'll go over these points. Not bad. We just stop at the platform at Kirkham as well. It would also appear that I am missing a part of the actual route. I haven't got the stairs installed. <laughs> That's pretty bad actually on the own route. So just ignore the fact that I haven't got those installed. I shall have to go and sort them. Right. <clears throat> DR on for a second. Just wait for it tell us. We're not actually at the tamping site yet, so I'm just waiting for the instructions. Move forwards and sort of just before the first set of flashing beacons. Set up your machine uh, and start tamping. Finish tamping at the second set of beacons uh, that are flashing and continue to Kirk and washing down main west. Right here. Let's turn that off. And again, look, my we, uh, we old YouTube has been uh, sabotaged by someone loading up to, uh, TS on Steam. Right, anyway, let's get this thing sorted for tamping. So, put my DRA on again for a second. Uh, 
Yeah, so while stationary, lower the tamping gear by using L or key in the cab. We'll do it with L. So let's do it how you can watch it. I think they've had a load more cables. Definitely, I can definitely see a lot more wiring. Still some weird texturing going on. Stuff like this. I do understand that it is the first model at the end of the day as well, but I'm, I'm hoping that stuff like this doesn't uh, carry on into the MPV. Um, because it'd be a massive shame, really, especially at payware quality as well. You don't want to be doing this sort of stuff and releasing it with these mistakes. Just hoping that it goes through a good testing process and all these uh, get ironed out. So yeah, we can we can only hope. Um, right. Anyway, tamping gear is down. Uh, so done that. The tamping bogey lights will uh, light sequentially on the. Oh, we need to do that on, on desk. So makes sense, doesn't it? Right. So the tamping lights. Then. So yeah, the temple lights are on. Turn the dairy off. Put it into gear one, which is already in. That's far away. Yep. Uh release the brakes and into position one. So we'll get the siren on. We'll do a bit of tamping. I will do no talking while we're doing this and uh, you can just sit there and enjoy. We'll go into the little cap as well for that. Right, and also with control C to start tamping.
Right. As you can see, that's why I turned the mic off because you just would not be able to hear it. It's just so noisy. Absolutely meg with the headphones. It sounds like I'm actually on the tamp. Uh, that bassy. Anyway, right. All the gears up, all the signs are off, and all the lights are off. We are now going to continue onwards and uh, stop at Kirkham, Washington Down Main West. Turn the gear off. We don't need them now. Thirty-seven's galore as well. There's literally, thirty-seven on this train here. They've had that test train as well. All sorts going on. No idea where we're going. <laughs> How are we parking this in the side of the head shunt? I presume we're coming down to this signal. Should not go past this market, it's only a small one. So it breaks right in. Let's just go past the signal at least. Make sure we stop in the market, otherwise, if we miss it, that's uh, not good. No, it's not bad, but it's not great. You should never miss the market, it, it, it can mess your scenarios up. Things can all go wrong. No. Yeah. That's that. Now, we going to be going into reverse so I'm assuming that's reverse yeah backwards on the gears change ends and head for Kirkham and Washington head shunt where we can park up for the night okay first time I've driven from this end I'm hoping we'll just go Ah, it's been naughty. Hang on. I might have had to uh, knock it in reverse there, to be fair, but nope, we're alright now. Please be aware that the speed limit drops, uh, drops to 30 as you leave the main line. 15 and then 5 as you enter the siding. Probably some bad toms here because bad boot building. Drive by side by side action occurring here. Help fire. I think that livery might be a little bit off. <laughs> Pretty sure that the. Um, I don't think the special beer occurred down this uh, part of the northern lines at this point. Could be wrong. I seem to think that um, that livery came after the um, electrification. First time for using these sidings as well. Red pen. Let's get the red pen out. Yeah, it'll be hidden. It won't be hidden speeds, but 
because obviously you don't really usually go this way and the signs there's no signage to say at the start of the uh, the siding as such so we need to go down to 15 don't we then down to uh, 5 That's the head shunt and I'm doing more than I should be. They're off. Yep. Pretty hellfire. This should really send an MPV down here to clean these white uh why is weeds? Where do wires come from? I can't spake. Yeah, they all, also in the update they came with some extra liveries so this is one of them which is the Carillion uh, branded livery um, also since as well they actually uh, been given permission to use the Plasma and Fura, um branding that the uh, campers have so some of those are uh, actually carry that branding now as well which is cool one thing I'm looking forward to on the uh, MPV is the sound I know he's been uh, working with Lego Man Biffo, I think they've uh, had some sound provided to them. Um, a video clip was posted uh, of a startup which sounded really cool. So, yeah, it sounded good. <clears throat> now I'm not going all the way down to the uh, top end of the head jump because uh, I've just got bothered <laughs> for the most part. But we have made it. That's a nice little scenario. It's, it's just a short, easy, fun little run, really, just to uh, give you something to do. So, links in the description for the uh, the pack and everything else that you see in this video. Do feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell for the future videos, of course. And you can catch it on Twitch. Now it's on Fridays and Saturdays, so that is our dates currently. So do come and join us on a Friday and Saturday from uh, usually half eight, unless it changes. It could be a bit earlier. Depends on how things are going. Excuse me. Very late in the evening uh, and uh, calls for a bit of yawning. Um, but yeah, thank you. Cheers for joining for the video as always. And I hope you've enjoyed it. Take care, guys. And again, we'll see you very soon on the next one. Take care. Bye for now.